Hi guys, it's Mimi. I live for Jesus, beauty and lifestyle and I like to talk to my camera like you'll see and how are you doing? Today, I am back with a whole new series, a whole new little section of my YouTube channel. I'm so excited. It's going to be so girly. We're going to talk about everything. And in this episode, we're going to talk about relationships, you know, dating, courting, getting ready for marriage as a Christian girly, especially in your 20s or in a younger age like me. You know, if you can relate, hey, you're welcome. <laughs> but, you know, we're just talking about the ups and downs of the dating scene at the moment, dating as a Christian girl how difficult it can be it's like you know scrubbing my face with sandpaper anyway exaggerating but i'm so glad to have you here i hope you enjoy this episode and yeah let's get straight into it before i leave don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment because it will push the video out to more people so they can obviously also leave their comments and their little you know chit chats in the box thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed the video i want to know your opinions um about this topic obviously about relationships and dating but obviously you'd have to watch till the end of the video to give your opinions in the comment box but let me leave you guys to enjoy the video you can grab your little drink some water because we're trying to be healthy okay grab your little drink grab some snacks and let's have a chat let's get straight into the tea let's get into the talks christian girls day in like how is it going guys i want to know how's it going how are you guys finding it because i'm in the trenches not in a good way <laughs> the trenches is never good i just want to know how you lot do it like as christian girlies who's trying to find their men of god <laughs> or a suitable partner how are you lot how are you lot doing it i just want to say one thing First of all, I'm not dating right now. I'm not in a relationship right now. I'm not married. <laughs> Let me just make that clear. I'm not married right now, but I feel like right now, maybe it's not the good time for me. And I don't want to say that with my mouth and just push like my man away. But at the same time, it's like, girl, is it a preference that I'm not dating? maybe and maybe not first of all i'm a homebody i don't go nowhere second of all i feel like as a christian woman in 2024 the options are real like slim okay <laughs> real slim and personally i wouldn't like to date in church um in my church anyways like i just not my church in particular like i just feel like i wouldn't like to go to the same church as my partner you know i just feel like it'll just be too much like my man will be leading praises or worship or playing the keyboard and i'm just there like <laughs> no i'm joking i'm joking i'm joking okay this started off a bit crazy but the reason i'm not dating is because personally i'm enjoying my singleness and i'm enjoying this time by myself and you know just being in the word being in a relationship with Christ which I'm not saying that if you're no, if you're in a relationship with a man you can't be in a relationship with Christ but for me personally right now I'm enjoying it and if a relationship comes fine good like that's okay if it doesn't I'm okay for now for now you know what i'm doing a lot of talking but i'm not even doing my makeup i think okay i'd like to be in a relationship but hmm am i ready to be a wife because i feel like obviously i've never guys i okay confession time <laughs> are we in a safe space because this is pajama diaries like but safe space are we ready to be wives like no, no i'm talking about me <laughs> are we actually ready to be wives or are we just saying it because we see everyone like in their wedding gowns and stuff like that like in their wedding dresses and the nice fancy weddings do we actually know why we're being called to be in a marriage personally for me it's like am i ready to be a wife or do i just want to be a girlfriend i'm not saying i'll never want to be but right now 
I don't know. I'll be very honest. I don't know. I can see myself being a wife, but why I'm not dating right now, it's not by choice, but it kind of fits into this season of my life. I think it makes sense. I feel like if you want to be in a relationship, you need to understand that does it fit into this season of my life? Like, you know, guys, the ghetto makeup that I'm doing right now, but it always turns out good. Don't watch that. Does it actually fit into the season of my life that God has called me to walk in? Like in my, in this season of my life, I feel like it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of things that I have to kind of re-operate my mind on. Like, don't get me wrong. I have to literally re, what's the word? I need to re-engineer my mind into the type of man that I like. Cause when I was in the world, your girl was with the shooters and the hooters. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I love the trappers. <laughs> I love the trappers. And I like the hooters and the shooters. No, I'm joking. I don't even know if, if hooters is a word. But I like the bad boys. You know, I bit some tats. You know, nice beard, nice trim, great joggers. That was my type, okay? Skinny, yeah. Uh huh, yeah. Mm hmm. Now I'm in Christ. I would like someone who <laughs> the way i'm talking like i'm writing a flipping essay bro i would like someone who adds onto you know like who adds onto me someone who doesn't define me but someone who like supports me in my walk with god also fun someone who's my friend that's what i feel like that's okay that's another point the point is all over the place but okay that's another point. I don't want someone who's gonna act like my dad and I don't want someone who's gonna act like my pastor. I don't want that. I want someone who's gonna be my friend, but also wise, like teach me things I don't know. Okay, let's do some Bible study together. But at the same time, let's go and do rock climbing. At the same time, let's travel. At the same time, let's... Okay, hold on, we're travel now when we're married. Like, let's do fun things, okay? Like, I don't wanna be just every day oh okay it's not a bad thing okay that we're always you know doing bible study i love a man that that's in his word knows his word but you need the character to match as well i need your character to match as well i need you to be fun i need you to be bubbly i want someone with a great personality because personally i have a very strong personality like i feel like some men i'm not even saying this to like make it look some type of way but some men find me a bit intimidating like I, ca I can't lie like some men find me really intimidating and i don't know if it's a bad thing or a good thing because i'm really trying to be my feminine era like can you not see hello i'm not rushing it like i'm not in a rush today i'm not like dying for it and i think a lot of christian girls or a lot of believers should i say not even just girls but a lot of believers in general kind of think that just because they're in christ that should be like an automatic pass or, or an automatic reason for god to give you a spouse like girl you still need to do the work and find someone certain people say oh i'm letting god lead the way which is fine obviously you would you would obviously want to involve god in certain decisions which is absolutely fine i am all for that because he is our lord i would prefer it to come naturally i would like a friend first and then blossom into something but we can't be friends for too long you can't be saying oh hello friend hello friend hello. don't friend zone me i'm your friend because we're getting to know each other on a friendship level doesn't mean you don't find me interesting or you're not interested in me you're getting to know me we're dating do you get it like Oh, people just be getting confused anyway i be getting confused you're confused i'm confused bro you're confused i just want it to be something where i'm not making an idol i don't want to make an idol out of it i've never been in a godly relationship before so i need to restructure the way i think about relationships at first relationships for me was very much lustful and very much just what can you know what can i do for you that kind of thing i'm someone when i'm in a relationship i'll do everything for my man like not everything i don't want to say i'm a traditional woman but when i'm in love yeah i i, I can't see i'm blind 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 i am very blind when i'm in love 
And to me, I need to reprogram myself to see, to say, like, I need to reprogram my mind and also base it on the word of God to see, is this person showing the characteristics of Christ or tr at least trying, do you know what I mean? We're not perfect, but trying to be like Christ. Girl, show me something. Where are the fruits? Yours is a bit rotten. You can't say, oh babe, I'm a Christian. I'm trying to take this walk with God seriously. And then the next day you're in the club popping champagne with the boys. What? That's not the type of man I want anyway. And that's another thing. I don't want to be in a relationship where like I'm doing wifely things or I don't want to be caught in someone where I'm doing wifely things. Hey babe, I've cooked some food. Do you want to um, come over and eat first of all? No, <laughs> that's wifely duties. When I say I could cook, I could cook. You either believe me or you don't. When I cook some food, I'm gonna take some pictures and I'm gonna send it to you. Now, I'm never, I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna cook for you. Maybe if you're ill, I'll make you some food, bring it to you. See, that's okay, that's calm, whatever. But I'm not, it's not like, oh, Sunday, 5 p.m., you need to cook for me. Why have you not made food like boss? Calm down. Now that I'm in Christ, I'm trying to balance how to be how to be a girlfriend you know before being a wife i don't want to just date because everyone's doing it or because there's pressure on me to date i want to date because i want to court you like i want to court for marriage i'm 26 i'm not rushing to get married but at the same time if i meet someone and they're serious about me i would bring up that conversation like I hope we're not just like, what are your intentions? You know, like, what are your actual intentions? Because I need to know. I'm not going to say, what are we? I'm going to say, what are your intentions? You know why? Because I'm tired of just going with the flow. Like, when I notice, like, when I'm talking to someone and I notice, okay, I'm doing the chasing, I will literally stop. I will not message you, like, ever again till I feel like, oh, let me just check up on you and then I'll message you. But when I feel like I'm forcing the conversation, it's over, I don't care, it's over. Don't give your all, especially when we're in the friendship phase. I don't want to give my all. And I feel like if I'm not speaking to you at least, or at least a text, at least a text a day, at least a text a day, Mm, I don't know it's not given it's not given for me if I don't get a text a day we're not speaking as even as friends we're not like okay 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 okay, okay. T, t t t t t t abstinence celibacy I don't even know the difference but waiting okay waiting to do the do yeah because we're Christians we're not doing the do till after marriage how, do, how are y'all doing Cause it's been day 360 million five. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, no, I'm not joking. It's, it's hard, which is why you shouldn't do it by yourself. You know, you need the spirit to kind of help you do it. But it is hard, we're humans. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna feel some type of way when it comes to certain things. But, you know, how we, how we doing with that? It's hard. I don't know. I'm not going to say it's so easy. Oh, as soon as I get a thought about, you know, can't wait to do it with my, my husband. I just rebuke it. No, it's hard. Okay. It's hard out here in these streets. As Christian girlies, I think it's a bit hard for us because people, or as Christians, period, as Christians, people think it's so easy to kind of just get rid of your sexual desires or obviously with god all things are possible don't get me wrong but at the same time we're human we have cravings okay we are born sinners like this is as long as we're on this earth we're human the flesh is gonna be fleshing but at the same time i think people picture us as perfect and people think that oh you're christian you shouldn't even be thinking about this you shouldn't even be talking about this but when you deep it we're waiting till we get married. Like that is a hard thing. That is something that we have to come to terms with because it is what we're following. We're, we're disciples, we're followers of Christ and that's what Christ has asked us to do. And there are reasons behind that. When someone tells you, oh, um, I think it's okay to have sex before marriage or like, you know, it, it's fine. I think, no, like personally for me, 
immediately that's a red flag like immediately if a guy says to you let's have sex before marriage it's gonna be fine because i know i'm gonna marry you anyway how would you know how would you know i would like to see that because how do you know are you god <laughs> no you're not <laughs> how do you know we're gonna get married no you don't know because you don't know tomorrow you don't you literally don't even know what's gonna happen in the next second so first of all yeah waiting is hard I'll, I'll tell you that for free i will tell you that for free waiting is hard don't let anyone kind of talk you out of waiting like you tell a man you're waiting you're waiting till marriage to have sex and they're like oh you're with that jesus thing like what <laughs> what do you mean jesus thing i'm waiting till marriage to have sex because i know the implications it comes with i know what my bible says okay and i'm following it i'm not just saying it like i'm actually gonna follow it and yeah we do have our shortcomings and that's absolutely fine but i think it should be in our minds that we're waiting to get married i don't want a man to sexualize me in a relationship like if i meet you for the first time and all you're talking about is my body or my face I and mean, my face car and all of that like i'm hey hallelujah to jesus for making me a cute girl cutesy very very cutesy thank you jesus for making me a cute girl but on the other hand i don't want like listen i don't mind the compliment i don't mind the compliment one thing about me i will take that compliment I, yeah give me that compliment thank you another one thank you. another one thank you but don't make it everything don't base a whole relationship on how i look what about my personality because i got a bomb personality what how about that mm, oh okay yeah how about my personality what happened to my personality like what happened to knowing someone for their personality and who they are does it always have to be about the kitty cat oh love me for me and i'm not even being a pick me i'm just saying as a woman who in her life in her past experiences gets attention and i feel like yeah a lot of girls get attention especially when people you know seeing you like okay you're doing better for yourself you're taking your life a bit more seriously you're not out drinking every weekend they're like okay she's doing good let me go and ruin her life but no you're not about to do that and i think that's what scares me a little bit as well because i've been in toxic relationships i've been in toxic situationships where they didn't serve me they didn't feed me so why would i put myself in that position again why would i do that again make it make sense Phys physical attributes they matter but they're not my number one priority that used to be my number one priority the way i say priority is so funny but physical attributes to me these days they don't even matter because someone can be so fine ah but that demon the demon that's behind the eye <laughs> someone can be so fine yeah like someone can be so fine but the demons that he's dealing with ha stay away from me i'll be so real stay away from me because listen physical attraction is not the priority anymore what is your personality like what is the character saying is the character reflecting the image of christ how do you treat the woman in your life how do you treat people when you go out? when we go out to eat are you opening your mouth and eating like one stupid god forgive me oh that is my pet peeve i hate like jesus why are you eating like a rat i would like to be in a god-fearing relationship someone who fears god because someone who fears god will not be doing stupid things okay guys so my lip is done i'm ready to go i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of pajama diaries christian girls chat and more to come this is gonna be once a month so you know we're gonna have a little chat a little chit chit chitty chat chat 
no I'm joking but um yeah I'm so glad you're joining me here today I'm feeling pretty I'm feeling cute so I'm ready to go and I will catch you guys soon thank you guys so much for watching I'm so glad that you made it to the end of the video if you are new here welcome and if you're a returning subscriber much love don't forget to like don't forget to comment don't forget to like and comment because it pushes the video out to more people to watch and you know have a little chat as well and let me know in the comment section like what are we thinking don't be scared to say stuff you know well if you know me in real life come come up to me and come and tell me what you think but anyways thank you so much for watching again don't forget to like and comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next pajama diary christian girl chat bye guys love ya